Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today I'm reviewing Halo Anniversary Series 1, and this is the Grunt Spec Ops. So Anniversary Series 1 is now out in stores. You can currently buy it at Target and GameStop stores, and the retail price on this is $10.99. So let's take a look at the brand new packaging design for Anniversary. As you can see, it's similar to the Reach design, except it just has some slight different uh, color differences and other assorted items here and there, but up on the top we have the 10 years in the Master Chief helmet with the cross behind it. That's representing the 10th anniversary of Halo Combat Evolved. Also we have a rendered picture of the Grunt Spec Ops right there. So there's 22 moving parts. There's also a sticker over here for the build this plaque, and that's basically a new builder type item that McFarland's including with the Halo figures. And the first item is the difficulty plate. So, on the back here we have all the other figures from Halo Anniversary Series 1, and that is the Combat Evolved Master Chief, Dutch, Cortana, the Halo 2 Arbiter, and the Grunt Spec Ops, which I'm currently reviewing. It also shows all the build type items that are included with the figures, and also the different difficulties that you can build with those items. And up on the top we have all the Halo games that have been released to date from Combat Evolved all the way up to Halo Reach. So anyways, enough of the packaging, let's go over this figure here. So he is also a repaint of the original Grunt figure which was released back in Halo 3 Series 1 and then later released again as another repaint in I believe Series 7 or maybe Series 6, it's probably Series 6 but uh, the, pretty much he's the exact same thing just with some slight paint differences and different accessories. Uh, so the accessories that he comes with, he comes with a plasma grenade uh, not really sure why this was included because you know he can't really hold it and there's nowhere to really display it on the figure anyway so uh, you just get an extra plasma grenade and the other main accessory is the fuel rod cannon uh, this thing is extremely large when you compare it to the figure here I mean it's almost the size of the grunt himself and it's pretty funny when you're playing the game you see these guys running around with these huge fuel rods um, and you think how can those guys carry these things well uh, they're very rare actually in the camp the campaign of the Halo games to see these guys it's usually on a legendary type difficulty but uh, when you do see them it's pretty funny and they're pretty deadly actually uh, but anyways um uh, the fuel rod cannon itself, it's the larger version, you know, it's not the Halo Reach one where it's smaller. It's got some gold uh, paint on the top and all other sorts of parts. There's gray and black paint details. Also, the fuel rod canisters themselves are green. And they have some silver painted on the tips, which look really nice. And that is the fuel rod there. Uh, the other accessory that's included is this removable gas mask. Same thing as the other ones, just got some silver, black, and blue paint, de paint details onto it. Uh, the interior of the mouth has been painted pink, and also the teeth have been painted white, which just really brings it out nicely. The eyes have been painted bronze, and actually a little bit of gold, maybe in between gold and bronze, but they really stand out nicely too. Uh, the detailing on the skin of the figure, it's kind of like a darkish gray with a blue dry brush painted over it to give it the detail look, and it just looks really nice. Uh, the armor of the figure is in black, so that's representing the Spec Ops version of the Grunt, or the Spec Ops rank. Uh, also on the back here, the, uh, the little gas tank or the methane tank, whatever you want to call that, that is also painted black. And there's some silver details around it. This uh, little gas tank here is supposed to be removable, but instead they glued it on this time. Not sure why. I believe they did that with the uh, other grunt figure from Series 6 back in the Halo 3 days. Uh, they glued it on too for some reason. Not sure why, because there's actually detail behind this uh, little gas tank here. Um, so, you know, that does kind of take a little bit away from the figure, but oh well. Uh, so that is pretty much it for the grunt here. The articulation for him, he has a ball jointed head along with a ball jointed neck. His shoulders are on a ball hinge joint while his elbows are just on a regular hinge. His waist is ball jointed and his hips are ball hinged. His knees are also ball hinged as well and his ankles are ball jointed. So that is all the articulation for this little guy. And surprisingly he can stand up pretty well holding the field rod cannon and not really fall over. So that is a plus and I really like that. So you get a fuel rod, a removable gas tank, I mean a removable gas mask, the gas tank is still glued on, and you get a plasma grenade. Now onto the build-a-type item that's included with this figure. You get the Elite Skull to help build the legendary plate. So basically you just get this giant Elite Skull right here that you can plug into there. This has two pegs on the bottom, which I believe you can take off if you want to. And they just plug into the back of the, well actually into the plate, and then you can see the little nubs back here where it plugs in. Um, so, of course, you have to buy all the other figures to get all the different parts to build this entire plate, though. 
Uh, so that is the Grunt Spec Ops from Halo Anniversary Series 1. Would I recommend picking up this figure? Probably, you know, if you're a really nice, well, if you play Halo a lot and you're a nice, if you collect the Anniversary figures or the Reach figures, whatever, um, I would recommend picking it up. I pretty much collect everything from the campaign, so it's just a must for me, but if you have Grunts already, it's just up to you if you just want to get more. It's pretty much the same exact thing, which is slightly different paint and some different accessories, but still, he is pretty cool looking, and who can not like Grunts? So anyways, that's pretty much it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video.